This is lesson two, talking about function rules. I want to begin by a couple of uh, vocabulary terms that you need to know. One is sequence, and a sequence is a list of numbers in a specific order. And another, ter another vocabulary word is term. Um, each number in the list, or in the sequence, is called a term of the sequence. Okay? And then there's two types of sequences, arithmetic and geometric. Okay, arithmetic can be found by adding the same number to the previous term. So you're adding uh, a term, adding a certain number, and getting the next number. Okay, a geometric sequence is uh, found by multiplying the previous term by the same number. Okay, so let's um, let's think about this. Describe the relationship between the terms in the arithmetic sequence. Okay, so this is an arithmetic sequence because you're adding the same number to each one. You have 7 to 14 to 21 to 28. Every time you go to the next number, you're adding 7. So it is an arithmetic sequence uh, where you add 7. If you want to get the next three terms, you're just going to add 7, so it will be 35. Uh, 35... And then it would be 42, add 7 to that, it would be 49, okay? So the next three terms would be those. That's an arithmetic sequence. Now, um, let's look at number two. Describe the relationship between the terms in the geometric sequence, 2, 4, 8, 16. Now, geometric tells me we're multiplying, so what do we multiply each time to get to the next number? From 2 to 4, you times it by 2. 4 to 8, you times it by 2. 8 to 16, you times it by 2. If I want the next three terms, this times 2 is going to give me 32. And then that times 2 is going to give me 64. That times 2 is 128. And you keep going and going and going. Okay? So that's an arithmetic sequence and a geometric sequence. Now, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. We're going to do this got it part. Um, and let me move this over just a little bit like this. You could pause the video and do it right now. Put your answers on A, B, C, D, and see if you can find uh, the function rule that's happening here. In this one, I see I'm going from 0 to 15, 15 to 30, 30 to 45. It looks like I'm going up 15 every time. And I'm not multiplying, so this is an arithmetic sequence, and it is plus 15. Okay? So then if I want the next three terms, it would be 60, 75, and 90. Okay. Let's look at B. 4.5, 4, 3.5, 4, 3. I'm going down, so I'm subtracting. Adding and subtracting uh, still is an arithmetic sequence. So I think from 4.5 to 4 is a minus 0.5. 4 to 3.5 is a minus 0.5. 3.5 to 3 is a minus 0.5. Okay, so I'm subtracting 0.5 each time. If I want the next 3, 3 minus 0.5 is going to be 2.5, then 2, then 1.5. Okay? Let's look at C here. To go from 1 to 3, I'm adding 2. If I add 2 to 3, I would get 5. Oops, but that's 9. So this must be a multiplying one. So this is a geometric one. So 1 times 3 gets me to 3. 3 times 3 gets me to 9. 9 times 3 equals 27. Okay? So this one is times 3. Now, on your calculator, if you want to do this, uh, the next one would be 81. 81 times 3 is 243. 243 times 3 is 729. Those are bigger numbers. Okay? Now let's look at D. 3, 6, 12, 24. Am I adding 3 each time? Nope. 
Looks like I'm multiplying. 3 times 2 equals 6. 6 times 2 equals 12. 12 times 2 equals 24. So it is times 2. And if I want the next 3, it's going to be 24 times 2, 48. 48 times 2, 96. 96 times 6, so 96 times 2 is 192. Okay. So that's how you kind of find out your geom your arithmetic and your geometric sequences. Okay, now we're going to find a rule. Um, a sequence can be shown as a list. Oopsie. So you have a list here. 8, 16, 22, 32. <laughs> I mean, 8, 16, 24, 32. So you have a sequence there. Um, or it could be shown in a table. And the position is like the first one is 8. Here's number 1. Number 2 is 16. Number 3 is 24. And 4 is 32. This is a list. This is into a table. Okay? All right. Um, and the position, this is kind of seen as the input. And this is seen as the output. Okay, let's look at an example here. Use words and symbols to describe the value of each term as a function of its position. Then find the value of the tenth term. Okay, so... If we do this, what we're going to do is we notice that the value of each term is 3 times its position. So 3, so it's 1 times 3 equals 3. 2 times 6. So it's this times 3 We'll get you that. All right. So it says position here, just like this right here. One, two, three, four, n. To get the first position, you multiply by three. So one times three equals three. Two times three equals six. Okay, and so on and so on. Now, if you want to know the tenth position, so n is just a variable. Um, I'm going to replace that with 10. So then 10 times 3 equals 30. So the value of the 10th term in the sequence is 30. All right. Let's try this one. Now, you can try these. Uh, so pause the video, try them, and then restart it, and you'll see how I do it. Okay. Use word symbols to describe the value of each term. Okay. I'm going to say from this position to here, it could be plus 10. But if I go 3 plus 10, that gets me 13. So it can't be adding. So 2 times 6 equals 12. So I'm going to say its position is 2. The function is position times 6, and then that's going to get me my value. Okay, so I made a little chart here like we've been doing. So 2 times 6 is 12. Okay, let's see if it works for the next one. Input 3, 3 times 6 equals 18, which is right there. Perfect. So it is this times 6. So for n, n, so it'd be n times 6 equals whatever that value is once I know the variable. It wants me to know the 8th term. So position is 8. I'm going to make that 8. 8 times 6, and it's going to be 48. So the 8th term will be 48. Now let's look at this one. Um, three, I can't do anything three times something to get to seven, but I can do plus. Three plus four. Three plus four is seven. Now let's check it. Four plus four is eight. Five plus four is nine. Okay, 
So my, pos my position is here. My function is position plus 4, and then I get my value. Okay. So let's set this up. We'll do 3. 3 plus 4 equals 7. Exactly. Uh, let's do 6. Position 6. 6 plus 4 equals 10, which is right there. So that works. Then we could do n. n plus 4 is going to get me my output. Now, I want the 8th term, 8th position. So 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. So the 8th term is going to be 12. I could figure out the 7th term. I could do the 8th, the 9th. I could do any term now, now that I know it's P position plus 4. All right, let's do another example. The table shows the number of necklaces Ari can make based on the number of hours she works. Okay, write a function rule to find the number of necklaces she can make in X hours. Okay, so in one hour, she makes five. In two hours, she makes seven. In three hours, she makes nine. Okay, so to find the rule, determine the function. So this is the key. Notice the values are five, seven, nine. It increases by 2. So the rule includes 2x. If the rule were simply 2x, then the number of necklaces in one hour would be 2. But, the va but this value is 5, which is 3 more than 2x. Okay. To test the rule, 2x plus 3. Use the guess and check and revise strategy. So let's see here. Row 1. Uh, 2x plus 3. If I replace that x with 1 hour and then add 3, see what I get. 2 plus 3, I get 5, which is what it is. Okay. Now let's check this row 3 here. Um, 2 every hour, so it's 2 times 3 hours, plus, oh, plus 3. So 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3, that equals 9, which is that right there. Okay. So the rule is 2 times... So for every hour, she's able to make two, but she started with uh, already having three. So it's 2x plus three. Let's do a little guided practice here. Um, number one says, describe the relationship we between the terms in the sequence 13, 16, <laughs> 13, 26, 52, and 104. So I want you to tell me, is it adding by something, subtracting by something, multiplying by something? What's going on in this sequence? And then, what are the next three terms? Okay? And there'll be a question on the Google form that you can fill in this answer. You might want to write it on a piece of paper so that you have this when you are filling out the Google form. Now, number two, use words and symbols to describe the value of each term as a function of its position. Then find the value of the 15th term. Okay? So, we need to know what's going on here from 1 to 2. It looks like I could be just adding 1. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. Good. 2 plus 1 is 3. Oops, can't be that. Okay, so if I'm not adding, but I'm getting bigger, so it's probably multiplying. 1 times 2 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. 3 times 2 equals 6. 
My guess would be that you'd have your position. You would have your um, function, which is position times 2. And then you would have your value. Okay, so I'm going to set you up with a little chart here that hopefully will help you guide your way through this. So you could do 1, 2. But then eventually what I want to have answered is what is the value of the term in the, the n, which is the 15th term? So I want to know what's the value of the 15th term. I know the first term is 2, second is 4, third is 6, 4 is 8. What's 15? All right. Okay. This is uh, some kind of tricky stuff, so just try your best. We'll go over more of it tomorrow in class, and uh, we'll keep working on this stuff.